While I am waiting for this to cool off, I am going to throw together really quickly a barbecue sauce that I saw a recipe for in a Michigan magazine. And I just jotted it down and wrote on there that it was a barbecue sauce that one day I wanted to just try. So today I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to pair it up with our pulled pork and throw it together and just see how we like it. The first thing we need is 32 ounces of ketchup and two cups of vinegar. I'm just using white vinegar. That was only 20 ounces. So I'm going to do a little over half of this. Rest of the vinegar. It calls for two and a half ounces of Dijon. I'm just going to eyeball that as well. A cup of sugar, which sounds like a lot, but that was a lot of vinegar. So I'm doing what it says. Tablespoon of butter, tablespoon of Worcestershire, tablespoon of garlic powder, and it calls for chili powder as well as cayenne. I am just going to use my Korean red chili powder. It has a really nice sweet heat to it, so I'm going to use this and skip the cayenne. I'm going to use a tablespoon. The recipe also calls for two lemons peeled and sliced. I think it sounds really odd. So I'm going with what I, the exact wording, but I'm not doing two lemons, I'm just doing one. Cause y'all know I can't just follow the recipe. I'm just going to let it simmer for a little while I'm going to get all the sugar incorporated and all the ingredients mixed together well and then just let it simmer on real low. In fact, I will move it back to this back burner to a really low, lowest setting. The lemon in this recipe just threw me. I've never heard of that in a barbecue sauce, especially when we already have all the acid from the vinegar. So we'll see. Time will tell. We'll be back in a little bit. See, I just put a little bit in this bowl. I think it'll thicken up more after I cook it, but I definitely think, I mean, I've, I've cooked it a little bit, but I, I think it'll cook down and thicken up more, but I do like a thinner barbecue sauce, so I'm not upset about it. It does stay a little thin. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Mmm. Wow, that's good. I love, love, love this barbecue sauce. That's a hit. Take note of that. I know I didn't do a perfect job on the measurements, but I will, in the description box below, list the measurements as they were on the recipe that I saw in the magazine because I did write them down verbatim because I know I'm really bad at using exact measurements and then giving you guys exact measurements and I hear about it in the comments, so I will be sure to put the exact written recipe down below. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.